This game reminds me so much of Mafia. That's why I'm addicted to this damn game. And if you don't know what Mafia is, it's one of those family friend games that you play. You get five or more people so it can be interesting, right? And I'm going to explain to you how it's so much relatable to Among Us. All right, it's called Mafia. And if you don't know what Mafia is, you get you a group of friends and you get you a deck of cards, right? And you hand those deck of cards out to your friends. Now, you're going to take out however many people it is. You're going to take out that many cards, but you got to get the face cards, too. Now, I don't really remember what the queen and the jack does, what their specialty is. Because I haven't played with my family in so long, man. And if you're my family members watching this video, we need to get a group going. We need to have a game night again, man. We used to play these games uh, during our game nights. Anywho, the face cards will always have a special ability, all right? So the Joker, we always made the Joker as the killer. And we made the king as the sheriff. And the ace will be the angel, all right? So they all have specialties or they have um, special things that they can do much like the task that we have to do uh, on this game right so the role of the angel is the angel can either save themselves because you do have your selfish angels or they can save another person and i'll explain what that means uh, a little bit later on when i'm done explaining it all right so the joker obviously his role is to kill everyone as is the imposter in this game um, so the Joker is the killer, all right? And the, I said the, the angel and the sheriff. He's the enemy. Oh, purple and yellow, okay. So purple and yellow, we know. All right. So anyway, so uh, the role of the king or the sheriff is to catch the, uh, the killers, obviously. So you assign one person as the role of God, right? And everyone else gets like a regular a regular card like a numbered card a regular numbered card all right and then we're going to name them whoever has a regular card we're going to name them in the village now whoever god should be handing out the card whoever's going whoever you uh, made god he's going to be handing out the cards you don't let the person or anyone in the room know what your card is only you and god know what your card is much like real life <laughs> much like your role on here so anywho God's going to tell the village to go to sleep. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to be God. I'm going to tell the village, go to sleep. Every, at this point, everyone should have their eyes closed. Everyone should have their head down, eyes closed, whatever. But you shouldn't be looking. It should be no peeking. It shouldn't be no cheating. You want to keep the game as interesting and fun as possible. So no one should be peeking and cheating so they can, you know, look like the smartest person. Because we had a lot of cheaters in our day. Anywho, so God's going to tell the village to go to sleep. He's going to be like, village, go to sleep going to be like killer wake up the killer at this point should only have their eyes open everyone else still should have their eyes closed and sleep he's going to ask the killer who do you want to kill and he's going to point you don't want to make it known that you're the killer all right you're going to point to someone or you know gesture towards someone that you want to kill all right so then he's going to be like god's going to be like killer go to sleep next hold on, let me finish this task next he's going to be like angel wake up gonna be like angel who do you want to save and you the angel has an option where they can save themselves or they can save someone else now if the angel was successful in saving someone else and the killer chose them that person is saved so they can't be killed right uh, but if the angel you know obviously didn't save that person then they're obviously dead if you are dead you can keep your eyes open but you cannot say anything that's going to like give away the killer because that wouldn't be fair obviously so uh if the angel didn't save you you're dead if the angel saved himself you know and then he's going to be like angel go to sleep then god's going to be like sheriff wake up who do you think the killer is obviously if the sheriff or detective or whoever you want to name whatever you want to name it batman we named him batman one time uh, finds out who the killer is and obviously they won the game everyone was safe if he doesn't find the killer obviously we're going into the next round he's going to be like sheriff well god he's going to be like sheriff go to sleep so if the sheriff go to sleep at the end he's going to be like if you did add in the other two face cards you can you know tweak it uh to, you know for your group have a little bit of fun with it you know the god should be as entertaining and charismatic uh, because he's going to be like village wake up and at, at this point, everyone should open their eyes, lift their heads, everything, everyone can wake up. 
if no one found out who the killer is, God's gonna come up with a funny story on whoever died. You know, like, I seen you shopping at Schnooks and the killer snuck up on you and, you know, stabbed you 20 times in the alley, <laughs> in the alleyway in the store and got away with it. You know, make up a funny story with it, as long as you go, you know. And he's gonna let the crowd know, he's gonna let the village did not find the killer. He's gonna give a chance to, he's gonna give a time limit for the village to deliberate. Much how we doing right here. Who is the imposter? Same difference. So you're gonna deliberate who you think the killer is. Obviously, if you didn't find the killer, it goes into the next round. But if the group does find out who the killer is, then boom, you win the game, you can go on to a next new game. And like it's so much like Among Us, you can, it's so much manipulation and you know, it's not certain tasks that you have to do like on Among Us, but everyone has a role. And you know, as people die out, you see who the killer is. But if the killer is just that good, you know, then he just that good, he just that charismatic and manipulative. <laughs> But that's Mafia in a nutshell. And I think that's where, low key, that's where they got this damn game from. My homie told me this was an indie game. This ain't no indie game. They got this game from us. They stole it from us. But yeah, oh my God, they better figure out who this, oh, come on man, come on Red, you know it's yellow. Come on Red, you know it's yellow, come on. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but good game. That is Mafia in a nutshell. So if you don't know what Among Us is and you clicked on this video because you know what Mafia is, you're a smart person. And if you don't know what Mafia is and you only know what Among Us is, now you know. And you should get you a group of friends just so you can test it out and have some fun with it, all right? Don't forget to tweak it. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know about some games that you play with your family and friends. Let me know if you heard of Mafia and all that good stuff. Let me know if I explained it right, if you get it. If you got any questions, leave it in the comment section. Thanks for tuning in on this Among Us Addiction.